What? It's not one of the wings. What do you mean? Yeah, you don't need that. Uh, we got both coils in halfway. Yeah. Yeah, these spring compressors off. And then we gotta put the lower control arms on, the and then extended brake lines on. Put the tight put the track bar back in. And uh, it'll be meant. All right, after a long battle, me and Diego finally got this little control, control arm in. How's the pain getting? I guess I got the springs in, if you guys don't know. So I uh, messed up my hand a little bit. So now all we got to do is put this bad boy other side on, which is going to be about another hour. Put that side on, put some other stuff on, we should be done. Uh, the other Jeep professional, Emilio, he's on his way right now. He just got off work, so he's going to be uh, helping us too. We should be able to get this done today, right? The front? Oh, yeah, so that's actually really good because I wanted to get the, the whole thing done in one day. That way, uh, shoot, Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, I can just come and... Uh... Oh, also, while I'm talking to you guys, this friend, friendly person delivered, not the Wawa, but this, what's underneath. But you guys will see that tomorrow. I'll give you guys a hint though. It's bright. Hop away. So you guys will see that tomorrow. So let's get it. <laughs> uh, this one moves so much. Oh fuck, I forgot the bush. Damn! Oh well, put it in there anyway. Ugly. <laughs> that that's me when I build my Jeeps. Let's go all the way up. Pit Vipers, not sponsored. Um, right now we have everything put together, uh, except for my track bar, which that's gonna go on later. We're just taking a break right now. Dude, this is what the wheel space was on. You see how wide this, literally the whole the whole entire wheel is out. That's gonna be freaking crazy. But I don't know if I'm gonna run the uh, wheel spacers yet. Probably not, just because, I mean, it's a little unsafe if you think about it. Just all that wheel out there. I mean, I don't know, I might just send it like Emilio was telling me to, but everything's on, the springs are on, the links are on, shocks need to be bolted up there. Jeep from right now is going to be Project May Sunday, we can finish that Sunday. I know tomorrow I want to get those, uh, those headlights in, see how they look, so I'll be recording that also. But I think that's going to be a, it's easy, I can do headlights, so I'll just do that by myself. But dude, yeah this Jeep's going to be nice. It's going to squat like crazy, because we're not doing the rear suspension just yet. So, also I gotta wait for my tires to come in too. We called them and you know, they didn't really get back to us. So, once those come in, but yeah. I like it. Everything's coming good. I'm glad. You know, I bought all this stuff. That's just crazy, look how. The next day. What's going on guys? So just a quick update. Uh, I got the Jeep, everything's put together in the front. I got the Jeep lowered. Um, the jet, the uh, stands, or whatever you want to call them, they're still up there, but the jack, the Jeep's lowered all the way, basically. They're just, these are just barely touching it, so this is exactly what it's going to look like. And if you can't tell on the video, this thing is squatted like crazy. I mean, we, we only did the lifts in the front right now, and there's literally no lift in the back, so that's, that is what I'm going to do today. Uh, I'm gonna do the, the rear lift today, and uh, I've never done this before, so uh, hopefully I don't break anything. But it, I don't think it's, I mean, they, Diego said it was really easy to do the rear lift, so that's why I'm really doing it myself. Also, I do have the instructions that Rough Country gave me when I bought the kit as a reference. I mean, I like it in the front. It's perfect height in the front, actually. I, I, you know, it's not too high, but it's higher than before. Also, I did get the light bar put on. I don't know how I feel about it, to be honest. Uh, the brackets are kind of weird. But, I don't know, I might just put that aside and get one for the roof rack, but we'll see. Haven't put the headlights on yet. But, yeah, today, rear lift is going in. Hopefully it's not a pain, because I did get cheaped out. Got the uh, Adelieve, so 
I know Diego's telling me it's a little harder because you have to, you have to mess with the uh, stocks, um, stock leaves and stuff. So, yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to jack the car back up and uh, take these tires off and get started. All right, guys, quick update. Just took the U-bolts off. Now what I'm doing right now is I'm taking the whole leaf spring off so I can add that bad boy right there. And uh, it's not really that hard. It's just I'm just taking my time. Don't really want to mess anything up right now. Just you know, take my time. That's the key for doing everything your first time. Just take your time, and everything will, should go as planned. All right, guys. So I finally got the driver's side leaf springs out. Took a little longer than expected, and just you know, took a little, little uh, fiddling. Also got the shackles out. And uh, since I already have, like I said before, the, the when I bought the Jeep, it already had like a small lift kit. So since I already have the shackles out, I'm just gonna go ahead and replace them with the new ones I got. Uh, they're the same exact thing, but you know, the ones I got are newer, so they should last a little bit longer. I still haven't done this side yet. I'm just doing one side at a time. So yeah. Now, what we're gonna do is take out the centering thing, centering pin and put the new one in so i have a feeling this is going to take another freaking 20 hours but you do what you got to do so uh i got the new leaf in it's actually pretty easy only problem is uh you're supposed to grind down the axis uh bolt centering pin and i only have one grinder in this house and the clip to turn it on broke so uh, right now I'm at a standstill. I don't even know what to do now. I might, I'm trying to get the whole day ago, but he's not picking up his phone. So what's up, guys? So uh, it's been about an hour, and uh, Diego's not home, so I can't really get my grinder. So I'm going to have to improvise for now. Uh, I found this in my shed, and it, it's, got a, it's got a metal blade on it, so that's good. But the whole leaf pack can't fit to cut the bolt. So what I'm doing is. I took this sharpie. It's kind of hard to see, but I did. I marked, but I marked it blue, and I'm gonna take this whole bolt out, the whole centering pin, and I'm just gonna cut right there. So hopefully, hopefully this works. I mean, it's really the only option I can do right now. So let's try it. All right, guys. So that wasn't actually that bad. Um, just still, just a little bit of uh, access bolt. Just a little bit, but I think that's fine. I'm just gonna send it. So now I'm gonna do the same to the other one. All right, guys. It's like maybe nine o'clock, and uh, I got both leaf springs in. Now I'm just putting everything back together. Got the U-bolts in there, and uh, I'm gonna call it a day just because I have to go to the work tomorrow morning, early in the morning. So. I can always just finish it after work. What's going on guys? Welcome to day 756. No, I'm just kidding. Um, last time you guys saw me, actually I just got a haircut too today. But um, anyways, so the rear lift is actually finished, completely, completely finished. And actually I even took off my uh, sway bar, my rear sway bar, which is a bad idea because these brake lines are, they're about, they're about to get uh, pulled off when I do flex. Also, I did take my uh, muffler off too, which is it's over here. It was actually in pretty good conditioning, or condition, sorry, not conditioning. Pretty good condition, it was not, wasn't rusty. So, this Jeep has been taken care of. All right, so I'm back. Uh, auto focus, please. All right, so I'm back. Um, I got all four tires on. Now I'm about to uh, lower it, so. All right, what's going on guys? I don't know if you can hear me, but this thing's a beast. It's actually, it's perfect. It's perfect because it has a little bit of squat. It sounds so good too. I, I, like, I love how it sounds with no muffler. Let me give you guys a little rev. It sounds perfect. It reminds me of like a supercar almost, except it's a Jeep. 
I just took it around the uh, my uh, yard, and it's, it handled pretty good. Um, my alignment is still bad, so I need to go do that ASAP. Um, also, I'm hoping I don't get death wobble, and I'm about to go try that, try it out right now.